We're a metal art and sculpting company that down in the Florida Keys. Uh, we make metal art out of aluminum. It's grinded to a beautiful shiny finish as you can see behind me. My friend Adam Welsh is actually the owner of the business and then I was lucky enough to join in right around the beginning of the company. When we started the company we originally focused a lot on fish um, because of the area we're in. We still do all the, all the beautiful fish of the world actually, not just the Florida Keys. But we're also getting into more home decor type of stuff. Something for everybody, whereas before we were just trying to kind of catering to the fishermen of the Florida Keys. We have something for everybody, not just the fishermen now. So, you know, we have, a, we have $5 pieces of little fun, whimsical type of art for the kids. We enjoy making the art down here because our surroundings are so beautiful. It's easy to let that, that beauty of the surroundings come out in our artwork. We take pride that we live in the Florida Keys. I've been down here for almost 15 years. I, as well, came on vacation and never left. Once that design process is finished, we bring it here to our shop, we upload it into our computer. Um, the computer smooths out the lines, finishes out the edges, then once we get that going, we start cutting. And what we use to cut is a, a CNC plasma torch. Now, as the torch is cutting, I'm controlling the up and the down on the torch. Um, the computer doesn't control all of the cutting. Um, a lot of the times the, the metal, because of the heat, will get a lot of warpage in it. It'll pop, you know, pieces will pop up as it cuts. So we, we tend to sit here with our finger on the pause button and also the fingers on the up and down control button. Once we get it cut, we pull it off the table. We do a uh, first stage of grinding where we clean up the back with a, with a handheld grinder with a five inch grinding pad on it. Um, once the back is cleaned, then we go, we flip that piece of art over and we um, proceed to grind the whole front of it nice and evenly. Now once that's done, we take that to another part of the shop and we use a Dremel tool with a diamond bit file on it. This cleans up all the inside and outside cuts any little burrs that might have been left, any rough edges, it kind of smooths out the rough edges on it. Um, really, uh, really takes it from a, a rough piece of metal to almost a finished piece of metal. Once the holes are all done and cleaned up, then we take it back to the table and we use a grinder with an 80 grit grinding pad on it and we do the finish grind where I go really slow and meticulous and follow the lines of the fish. And that's really where you get the nice, shiny, almost 3D um, type finish that we do called burnishing. The, the final stage of grinding really takes so long because we really have to look at that fish. We really want to be true to that fish. We don't want to just put some wavy lines on the sculpture and be done with it. We really want to pull that sculpture, you know, pull that grind to where it follows the lines of that sculpture. And then once that burnish is, in, is done, we take it and we give it a little bit of form. We bend out the, the fins and stuff like that so it kind of has a little action to it, a little pop off the wall. The trophies are kind of a whole different thing in themselves. Um, we do the trophies out of a little bit thicker metal than we normally do. Um, so there, that right there takes a little bit longer to cut it. And then we mount the trophies in the beautiful uh, red cedar wood bases. So that takes a little bit of time as well. You know, we do all our own chainsaw work. We, we sand the bases down. We polyurethane them, make them nice and shiny and beautiful. It's exciting for us to see, like I said, that new design go from start to completion and then to see it hung up on, on whoever's wall and, and to see the smile on their face and, you know, just to see the joy that, that our art brings to people is, is, is really good.